adopt the NSA? Today's Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $146. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin. From friends of WeUseCoins.com. Bitcoin is doing for money what email did for communication. Learn about the world's favorite new currency at WeUseCoins.com. A group of individuals uniting under the banner of Restore the Fourth has successfully adopted the stretch of highway around the NSA data center in Utah. Read the original article written by Joshua Cook at BenSwan.com. Over the past few months, tyrannical actions by the federal government have been revealed. The IRS targeting conservatives, the AP phone scandal, NSA surveillance, drones, and lately, vindictive actions during the government shutdown. How do people resist this oppression? Protests are a start, like the protests on Washington, D.C. over the weekend. Lawsuits and political campaigns can be helpful, but are often controlled by the government. Alternative media has been vital in spreading information, but it needs to be coupled with an effective course of action. Many feel it's becoming necessary to employ peaceful non-compliance to non-violently oppose the government's increasingly blatant violations of rights. According to their Facebook page, the organization is a non-partisan, non-violent, nationwide advocacy and protest movement demanding an end to the unconstitutional surveillance employed by the U.S. government. They successfully applied this month to take over maintenance of the highway around the NSA's Utah data center via the Adopt-A-Highway program. This will put the group's name on signs leading to the center. Members will also be able to picket and protest while cleaning the road. It gives the group 24-hour access to the highway, meaning it will be able to quickly see basic changes in what's going on there and learn some more about the organization and the people who work there. Restore the Fourth's adoption of a highway goes a step beyond a normal protest and allows 24-hour access to the already problem-ridden data center. What would it take to implement this idea where you live? If similar actions became widespread, how would this change the political landscape? This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Video recorded on a cell phone by a restaurant goer reveals an off-duty law enforcer tried to illegally arrest a woman after getting into an argument with her. Police arrested 49-year-old law enforcer Paul Derrick and charged him with assault. He's been suspended without pay. According to reports, Paul approached a woman who appeared to be upset. 23-year-old Brittany Ball showed no interest in Paul, and the two started arguing. Then Paul, who was not in uniform and was drinking alcohol, left the restaurant and returned with handcuffs that he retrieved from his truck. The off-duty law enforcer overpowered Brittany, handcuffed her, pulled her to her feet, and slammed her head into a metal table. At one point, Brittany is positioned over a table while the law enforcer, who's a former Marine, says, quote, this is how marines deal with soldiers while slamming the woman into the table and the table collapses. It's not clear why Paul thought it was necessary to control Brittany. The video shows she never yelled or resisted. Restaurant employees and other customers tried to intervene, but Paul warned them not to call the police. Thank goodness for the objective record kept by cell phone video. When police arrived, they were shown the video and immediately arrested Paul and released the girl. Without video of this interaction, Action. Do you think police would have taken their law enforcer buddy at his word? In other news, New York City programmer Patrick McConnell offered a homeless man named Leo either $100 or programming lessons. Leo opted for the programming lessons so that he could get a job. Thanks to weeks of help from Patrick, he's now writing his own app. He's even slated to appear this morning on the Today Show. But Monday, Leo was arrested for the crime of sleeping on a park bench after hours. He was brought to jail, where Patrick has been working to get him out ever since. Who is doing more good for the world? The programmer who teaches the homeless valuable skills, or the law enforcer who cages peaceful people for ransom? Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.